good morning everybody on this Tuesday morning and it's kind of rainy and crappy. So what are we doing today? Well we got all our cans done last night. Two of them go to a customer just down the street. I got to back in off the street blocking traffic. Joy. Well, my son quit his job. He quit his job today, which is kind of, well, I can see why, because I would have done the same thing. And I can't condemn him saying, oh, it would have been different if you're like, I don't want to work anymore. I don't like the job. Hell no, you're going. You're going! But if, um, I didn't work yesterday, and there's all the cans, and I say, well, does Liam come in tomorrow? He's like, well, yeah, you could bring Liam in, but, you know, he doesn't work hard enough. Because every time I go in the warehouse, which is not very often, he's standing there. Well, of course he's standing there. He's waiting for the fruit to come and take a crate out or something, a shit he's built or something. He doesn't go in the warehouse very often. So no, he doesn't help, he doesn't work. I say, well, every time I'm in the warehouse, when I come in from doing deliveries, or being out, he's in the back end working. Well, well, you can talk to the guys. Of course I'm gonna talk to the guys in the back, and I do. Turns out, the boss is full of you know what? Full of BS. Because I see him working, I talk to the guys in the back, oh yeah, he works. He works. Once you take out the crates there that, 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 he, that he's waiting for you, you to take out, he's right back in. He's moving stuff. So, how did he come in today? Most likely, Alfred was going to fire him. Of course I told him. Of course I told Liam that he's like, what? This guy, that I freaking work me. He goes back to how clueless he is. Blah 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 blah. So then they were fine. I'm done. Screw up. So I agree with that. Yeah. If you're doing a good job, and I'm talking warehouse manager, well, yeah, because he wants to kill people. You want rush, rush, push, push. You can't treat a guy who's 15 years old with the same expectations as someone who's been working 10, 20 years. It's unrealistic. It's his first job, he doesn't know. So anyway, I supported his decision. Then again, I'm wanna to quit too. <laughs> I'm quitting too, so I'd be kind of hypocritical. Man. Oh, you should keep the job, it's a good job. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. the worst company I've ever worked for. The worst. So we're just gonna do a turn here. We're going down that way. And we got two cans of just crates, so it's not gonna take long. I should be done this by by lunch. And then who knows? I'm also gonna take Friday off because um, well Friday morning, because I gotta go down and uh, get a criminal search done. Anyway, stand by, we're backing up in your door! Well, we're back and uh, doing our second delivery right now with the second container. And some people are just ignorant. So I'm coming down this way here, even though the warehouse is down that way. It's easier to back in um, if I go around the block. Because when I nose up over there, come around that Dakota and back in. And this is a pretty busy street here. So there's a red light over at the intersection over there, so I make my turn, come in nice like that, and nose up over there, put my four ways on. Start backing in, get it one shot, don't have to pull forward or anything. Guy in a Rican Hyundai Pony comes right there. Honks his horn at me and does the old... So I jump out of my truck and say, yeah, you come here and do that. Come here and do that. Of course, he freaking screws off down the street. He's like, yeah, that's that's what I that's what I thought. 
that's where I thought you're all big and tough inside your car. Some people are so, you know, you see I'm backing up and they're like, oh, oh, I'm sorry. You have to wait an extra two minutes. Anyway, <laughs> that's me today's excitement. Doesn't help that I'm rigging so tired right now because I know it's only like 11 o'clock. I had like no sleep last night. Got home like 11.30. Uh, took a shower, went to bed and just laid there just, yeah, stared at the ceiling. No. Did that till about 3 o'clock in the morning and it was, screw this. I'm going to go play some PlayStation, so I played some XCOM. Did that till like 6.30 in the morning. My wife got up. Goes, what are you doing? Like, I can't sleep. I'm insomnia. Can't sleep. And it's not because I'm not tired, because I'm just beat. Finally go to bed at 6 o'clock. She's like, well, come lie down. Anyway, I got to go inside. See you in a bit. Uh-oh. Looks like... Someone got pulled over by the sack! One Jerry was a bad boy. We'll see as we drive by. If it's him or not. I doubt it. Well, he was in Quebec City yesterday. So it might be him. We're gonna have a look as we drive by! No! No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't! Could have been. Of course, if it was, I would have had to uh, send him a text. Ha ha ha. That wasn't him. Anyway, stand by. Really heavy. Here's a change. The customer actually loading the elevator for me. That doesn't happen too often. <laughs> so we're unloading two pallets out of 700. 700? 15. <laughs> I, 700 would be here all day. <laughs> Oh, all month. All month. Let me move my pal jack out of the way. You're gonna show your wife this now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm gonna show my wife. I'm YouTube famous. I'm show I became famous now. <laughs> all right, I'll bring more. Okay, that's five left in the truck. 50, 10 have been brought upstairs. So we got five more still in the truck to go. We should have thought of this earlier. Would have been faster. Stand by. Oh, finally empty. Finally empty with that one. The boss wants me to go to the port, possibly. Depending on the time I got finished at. But that ain't happening. Not yet. Got a tip though. That returns in. Okay. But I got a tip. I got a five. I got a ten. And I got a twenty. It's the queen! So, <clears throat> dropping it. 35 bucks a tip, that's not bad. That's pretty damn good. Bad lunch. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. <laughs> Taste of beer. Anyway, so uh, we're gonna return this to uh, CN, but first we have to go back to the terminal, back to the warehouse, and take out the uh, 
take out the pallet jack and give it a sweep. So. And of course we're at CN for the 5 o'clock rush. Boy oh boy! So I should take this opportunity now to um, unlock my pins. That would be a good idea. So that's what we do is we have three returns, two pickups. So we're going to do return, pickup, return, pickup, return. Everything comes to CN. I wish you would go to Ultra. Because Ultra is faster. Well, right now it wouldn't be because it's a 5 o'clock rush. Right now, actually, CN would be a little faster. It's just getting to the portal. So we're going to go unlock our pins and uh, see you on the inside. Stand by. Is this where I want to go? Is this it? Is this it? Is this it? Is this it? This it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we're going to do a little lippity floop. Right here. And line up with that pile right there. Yes, sir. That's the one. That's the one that's got my name all over it. Is it right on? I'm just going to park right like that. Yeah. Make sure my box is sort of, kind of, maybe lined up. There we go. Close enough. Close enough. Ugh. So put this over here. Oh, I still need this part, though. Because we're going A10 after, which is like... See where all those... Um, Costco's. I see more up over there where there's a JB Hunt. Because I'm right on the line. So yeah, I'd be up where those Costco's are. Is it a Costco? Yeah, it is. It is a Costco. So it'd be all those Costco's over there, maybe. But I'll bet long odds that that's probably where it is. Probably where it is. So we are just going to wait here for the crane to show up and stand by. Well, in true CN fashion, that took... Oh, I forgot to put my seatbelt for that. Whoopsie! Took two hours to get my... my empty off. And then they come get me my loaded. In true CN fashion. I want to know why. I can see, yeah, there was a rush, and maybe they were on lunch or on break or something. I don't know. But it's kind of ridiculous. And they used to say, oh, we'll have you served within 30 minutes. That's our policy. Third, have you served in your box within 30 minutes. Bull. 30 minutes to go to the portal, maybe. Yeah. But we'll get to you. 30 minutes to the end I don't know. Oh, I don't know. So anyway, we're heading back to the uh, warehouse. I hope there's not another freaking repeat of last night, but I've still got another can to pick up and another return. Actually, two more returns. I bloody hope not, because that's just wrong. Oh, I got Friday morning. Yes. I'm not sure if they're able to record it. We're going to see how much I can do. Because uh, I'm going for my criminal background check. Downtown on St. Catherine Street. Well, yeah, St. Catherine Street there. Or is it? Yes, it is. Because I'm thinking Ray Lebec is the bathroom. So it is St. Catherine Street in Montreal West. Technically not Montreal, but Montreal West. Across the street. From the Alexis Neon Building, Kitty Corner, from the old Montreal Forum, and just down the street from the RCP detachment. I have the address that my friend gave me. I gave him a call. No appointment needed, just show up. So I told my boss, oh, I have a 9 o'clock appointment downtown. Ah. He says, okay, not a problem. I told him, yeah, I have some personal administration to do. 
Yeah, my personal administration is quitting this damn job. Getting another one. <laughs> oh, if you only knew what I was plotting. <laughs> the sun's still here? Holy crap. So is Herbie. Bet you they're still in the cube truck. Well, there, and then there's my truck, of course. I'm still here. My Durango is still here. So, anywho, we're gonna go swap trucks, swap trailers, and we're gonna go back to CN. Hopefully, they're faster the second time in than. They're going to drop us now. Well, in the door, obviously. Anyway, stand by! Or else. Alright. We are back again at CN in the Kenworth. And now, since I got here, everyone's waving at me. Because they don't know me in the Freightliner. They all know the big blue machine. They all know the big blue machine. There's something wrong with this transmission stuff. not going in a little. There it goes. There it goes. Hopefully there's still some warranty. There should be a 90 day warranty on it. So I'm gonna send out for a text and ask him, I hope you got some warranty on this rebuilt transmission because it's having a hard time going in back into low when the truck is moving. It doesn't want to do it. So you gotta, I don't know. Like the synchronizer is getting stuck or something. I don't know. Again, I don't know much about transmissions. So we are going to put our can right in that pile over there, which is number CH5. Because that's row it is. Because that's row C. And that's row H. CH5. I'm just going to do a little turn around. I almost want to say flippity floop again. I'd like to say that go flippity floop and have like a little thing right about here of Bill Cosby going doo -doo 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 -doo. That'd be kind of funny. Get your jello pudding pop! Anyway. Let's go unlock our pins and stand by. All right, well, that's pretty much it for the day. We got our last can, which is the Yang Ming right here. Yang Ming. Got a Yang Ming. The only thing I love to do now is run back, grab that empty, and boot back here. Probably drop it back up in section CH5. But then again, I'm only guessing that's going to be CH5. Because I'm not really that sure. So thanks for watching. Remember to hit that like button, that share button, and always that subscribe button. Because it always helps. And see you tomorrow.